In other news, we're learning more about the brutal killing of a woman in Brooklyn Square last summer after murder charges were officially filed today. In June, Brittany Battaglia was killed, her body stuffed in a duffel bag. Her boyfriend was initially charged with multiple felonies, but not for killing her. That changed today. Tara Molina was at the accused killer's court hearing, and she joins us now with the latest. Tara. Marie and Jim, it took months to bring these new murder charges. Prosecutors shared vivid details in court. We asked our legal analyst why it took more than seven months to bring on this murder charge. We want to warn you, the details here are disturbing. June 2nd, the last day Brittany Battaglia was seen alive. June 5th, the day Chicago police found her body in a duffel bag, her head nearly severed inside her 34-year-old boyfriend Genesis Silva's home. Prosecutors detailing the cuts and swelling friends noticed on Silva's hands in the days Battaglia was considered missing. The large machete police found in a backpack as well as many knives in Silva's home. A tarp still on his kitchen floor and three garbage bags filled with black rubber gloves, blood matter, a disposable suit and sponges. Telling the judge when police asked Silva what was inside the large black duffel bag Battaglia's body was found in, he replied, my stuff. Prosecutors also detailing the attempted murder and sexual assault charges Silva, a registered sex offender, faced back in 2009. Prosecutors said while sexually assaulting his then wife, he threatened her with a knife and said, quote, why don't you just die? We told you Silva was charged with concealment of the homicide and felony unlawful use of a weapon by a felon after the murder in June. So why did it take until now to add a murder charge? It's not unique. It does happen. It doesn't happen frequently. Um, but it, bottom line is it's the duty of the state's attorney's office only to put cases in the system that they feel they could prove beyond a reasonable doubt. That's CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller. He explained the new charges bring Silva's case back to square one. The case was scheduled for trial for a jury trial next week. I believe that will be continued now for months to get this case in a position to be tried as a murder case at this time around. Silva is being held in jail. He will appear in court again at the end of this month. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Tara, thank you.